welcome to Cara's Fast Natural English Podcast, the podcast for English learners who want to improve their listening skills by actually listening to and understanding fast conversational English. Hi there, so a couple of weeks ago I spoke to you about why you shouldn't listen to TED Talks, or TED Talks, I never know how you should pronounce that. Um, As you know, I'm really into helping learners with what I call conversational English, so that's really any type of English that that's unplanned or that's that sounds unplanned um, where the words and expressions sound different to how they sound when we say them carefully so that could be simply just the way people talk in real life when they're um, in a conversation whether one-on-one or in a group um, the dialogue in tv series so sometimes um, in certain series they make a real effort to make the dialogue sound like real conversations so they add you know spontaneous conversational features and then also what i mean by this is um you know, things like people speaking spontaneously in podcasts, like I'm I'm doing now. Well, this is kind of planned, but the delivery is really pretty spontaneous. Or that could be on the radio, you know, sometimes there are radio shows where it's just kind of people having a chat, really. It's not really um, something that's been pre-planned beforehand, unlike a TED Talk, of course. So my aim today is to give you some ideas of what you can listen to or what you should listen to if you really want to focus on your on improving your understanding of conversational English, that fast, natural, spontaneous, um, informal English. So I asked uh, recently in my Facebook group, the Leo Listening Lounge, about what people are, are watching or listening to. And um, I found that a lot of people, this kind of surprised me that they're watching um, documentaries or watching the news rather than TV series. Um, and one person even told me that he feels that people speak more slowly in TV series than, um, you know, than when they read the news. Now, you know, speed is not the only thing that Um, that you need to be aware of. Um, You also need to know how, you know, words change when we speak fast. So you've probably heard about connected speech, that's something that I talk about as well. So that's when we make, we join words and sounds together, we make sounds disappear, we transform one sound into another. And, you know, these features are even more of of a problem in conversational English. In addition, you've got all these features of unplanned speech like hesitations, pauses, um, filler expressions, repetitions, uh, the fact that ideas are kind of disorganized. um, That also makes conversation in conversational English a challenge compared to more kind of academic monologues if you like like TED talks or or the news. So where can you practice then listening to this kind of conversational English where the words and expressions sound different and there are all these unplanned features like hesitations or fillers? Um, well, one good place to start is podcasts. So obviously this podcast is designed to be in a, in a conversational you know, style, informal, natural, fast. Um, another podcast for learners that I like for that is also Luke's English podcast. Now his podcast episodes can be very long, but they're either him kind of mon- monologuing spontaneously or uh, him interviewing someone and just really having an informal chat with them. So that really sounds like, you know, what what you would hear in the real world as conversational in- English. Um, you can also listen to real podcasts, if you like. So podca- podcasts that aren't for learners, but, um, you know, th- where they are, you know, based on interviews, and the interviews are really unscripted chats. Um, I'll put some suggestions under the blog post. One thing that really helped my partner when he was learning English was to listen to podcasts by, by comedians, because often... Um, there might be several of them in the studio just kind of sitting around having a chat like like real people but these can be different difficult because they're full of kind of cultural references and jokes so maybe be careful with that um another suggestion is of course talk shows um on youtube there's the ellen show which i think is great but you could also watch talk shows by people like jimmy fallon or you could watch saturday night live so these are all you know unscripted chats um in terms of other learner resources you could use the um english listening library online or elo um where you've got um kind of you know, interviews with speakers of different accents. There's also a series on the British Council website called I Want to Talk About, 
So that's, you know, informal, spontaneous style. Um, any kind of TV series where the dialogue sounds like real life. So right now I'm watching a series called People of Earth and I can't watch series like a normal person anymore. I'm constantly analysing them to see if the, you know, the dialogue is conversational or if it sounds fake or if it sounds real. But I think, you know, theirs is pretty good as something kind of real sounding. Um, and you could also watch, you know, vloggers on uh, on YouTube who are, you know, putting together videos that aren't too pre-planned, that are kind of, you know, spontaneous and informal. So I'll put some suggestions and some links under this podcast. Um, but there really is a wealth of material out there, you know, other than TED Talks, other than news, other than documentaries um, that you can and you need to start using if you really want to start understanding fast, informal, spoken English. Good luck. See you soon. Thanks for listening to today's episode of Cara's Fast Natural English Podcast. If you're listening on iTunes, Stitcher or SoundCloud, make sure you head to the blog to check out the activities to go with the episode. Also, if you haven't done so already, make sure you download my free e-guide to become a Leo listener. Thanks very much to podcastthemes.com for the theme music for this podcast. See you next time. Bye.